Classy ladies do not follow trends, but a modern classy lady is well aware of her trends and uses them wisely to update her looks. Here are the don't and do of Tai Chu K spring trends. Low rise pants. In case you haven't heard, low rise pants are back. I call this period Brittany and Christina Angelia because I clearly see them wearing those pants. While I love their talents and songs, <laughs> I am so sorry to say low ride pants should stay in the Y2K period. There is nothing classy about showing your midriff even if you have 6 or 8 pack or whatever pack you have. Leave that style for teenage and college girls because at that age it's more about experimenting than the need to be classy. Let them experience while they are young and have the body for. For the rest of old souls like us, less is more when it comes to showing skin in my opinion. I am a high rise girl all the way. It tucks, it hides, and lengthens our legs what's not to love. If you want to show off your gorgeous skin, off shoulders or small open back tops are much sexier and more sophisticated. I am a huge fan of bucket hats because they add such a cool element to your outfit, especially if you dress girly. It turns out the girliness, you can wear them all seasons, rain or shine, literally. I have two bought from TJ Maxx. The black one is for the winter and the solid one is for spring or summer. They also look great on guys. They are easy to care for and as far as practicality of it, let's be real here lady, they are more of a fashion statement and don't cover much. Maybe the top half of your face will be sun protected. Regardless, this is an iconic and classic accessory, so I vote to bring it back. I do need to add that one to my collection. How can that be a trend? No, 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 there is nothing classy about them. They are quite ugly in my opinion. Why, why, why? We had so many better options for shoes out there. Why bring back something so ugly? I am sorry, I work in healthcare and I don't even want to wear them to work. You have to pay me quite handsomely to wear those. Please take them away. If you have to be on your feet a lot, there are tons of sneakers that are super comfortable. There is no need whatsoever to buy them. I would rather wear Ugg shoes than those and Ugg shoes were named as such because they are supposed to be ugly. But next to the clocks, they are runway models. I do not understand this trend and will put that in the classic don't for sure. For me. Big bag. I really don't think there is a need to have a bag that big unless you plan on hiding your baby in it. Being 5 feet 2, it would swallow me or hide me. In that case, I could totally use it to hide myself from my boss for example. Are you like me who always hides from your boss outside of work? I just feel so awkward and never know what to say when I run into them. Anyhow, here is an example of the new trend that is ridiculous you guys. And here, are you trying to hide a dead body inside? That doesn't look like a stylish let alone classy bag anymore. It is a lump of purple thing and that is $400. The truth is the bigger your bag, the more stuff you throw in there and the harder time you have fighting anything. I'm sure you can relate. It's like a quicksand and once you toss it inside, good luck fighting it. I am going to pass on this one. This is a toss up kind of decision for me. A little bit of fringe is cute. Too much fringe is not necessarily this tasteful. It just had this party look and too specific. I am sure it looks cool dancing in, but realistically, how often do you wear this tiny top or dress? Or how long do you think it is going to stay on trend? My guess is not very long, so skip this if you want to stay classy. Save that money for something else equally trendy but leaning more toward classic styles. Pleated skirts, if they are long and flowy skirts like the ones I got from Aritha, then I hope they will stay forever. But if you are talking about the short, pleated ones, then it really depends on where you wear them. I've seen gym shorts in the pleated style and they are popular as tennis skirts. Most of the ones I've seen are too short to be classy. Sure, they look cute on high school girls, but the ones coming back are more micro mini. So only micro should be allowed in your house is microwave. So for that, I am going to pass. 
my closet won't miss it. So bye bye. So here is another micro for you. Does everything have to be micro these days? I know everything gets expensive, but is that why we are skimping on fabric as well? If you are smaller chested, it can work like a crop top with high waisted jeans. But if you are anything bigger than a B or a C cup, I am afraid that would look like a hoodie girl material. No offense to anyone working at Hooters or anyone loving it, but I want to reinstate again that we are keeping things classy here. If I want a micro tee, I would borrow one from my niece or shrink the heck out of my current t-shirt in the washer. You're just getting definitely a no for me. Uh, dresses are my language. I have uh, quite a few videos dedicated to just dresses. I love all styles but definitely am more strategic these days in order to conceal flaws that come with aging. When you think about it, dresses are never out of style. It's not like bell-bottom jeans that disappear for a while. Even with something like slip dresses that have been really mainstream in the past few years, they always pop up somewhere. Floral and fitted are great for a classy lady. I think it is a myth that classic style means solid color or more cover-up. What better represents spring than floral dresses? This is a classic do for me. I didn't realize puff sleeves were popular in the Y2K time, but this has been my love. This is a must style for people with bigger upper arms like I am. The style fools people into thinking that you are trendy and not because you are hiding your arms. I think it is quite flattering if you don't overdo it and you can. I can't tell if you are going to tackle some football or your sleeves are on steroids. There is more fabric in the sleeves than the rest of the top. But the good news is you can make this style a twist on classic. Balance out your lower half if you are a pear shape. So yes, when done proportionally. Last but not least, bolder bright colors. Well, I think most people do wear brighter colors in the spring and summer. I think this trend should be called neon bold instead. That is the difference. I am good with bold colors, just not neon kind of bold. I, for one, this type of bold colors look very harsh on most skin tones. Two, it is not as easy to style because it can look cheap if the fabric is also cheap looking. You can easily hide the lack of quality in fabric with black color, for example. But a neon color will be in your face and it is not forgiving in that sense. So for this trend, I'll say give it a try but be conservative with your choices.